Do you write a diary? Have you ever seen your parents, grandparents, uncles, aunts, siblings or friends write a diary? Let us learn about diary writing today. A diary is an informal and personal form of writing. A diary can be based on a personal experience, daily happenings or any important event of personal or public life. Diary writing is one of the most personal and informal categories of writing. It can be based on an experience, a scene, a description or narration of certain event or any other thing or activity that the writer considers worth writing in his or her personal diary. In the examination, the question on diary writing is aimed to test or polish your imaginative, creative and expressive skills. Diary writing not just polishes your skills of writing, it gives you much more than that. Writing a diary helps keep your thoughts organized, it improves your writing, it helps you set and achieve your goals when you write about your goals each and every day in a diary. Diary is something very portable. You can take your diary anywhere or everywhere. Hence, a diary helps you record your ideas on the go. Diary is like your friend. So, when we share something with anyone, we feel very relieved. Similarly, writing a diary helps you share your thoughts and emotions and hence you feel less stressed or you feel really relieved and happy. Since you think a lot while writing diary, it helps you self-reflect. It boosts your memory because while writing a diary, you think of the experiences you have already experienced. Of course, writing a diary inspires creativity because that is your original piece of writing. Value points that must be kept in mind for writing an effective diary. Stick or adhere to the format. Do not exceed the word limit of 80 to 100 words. Since diary is a personal piece of writing, keep the tone of your diary friendly and informal. Use personal pronouns like I, me, we, etc. while writing a diary. Most commonly used tenses are simple past, present perfect and future tense. But majorly simple past tense that is the second form of verb is used while writing a diary. Stress on feelings, emotions and reactions. Rather than only using assertive or declarative sentences, use a lot of exclamatory sentences too. Do not forget to write day, date and time. Write simple and short sentences. Never, never put your diary in a box. Write your diary in one single paragraph. Use a strong expression for opening and concluding lines. Let us look at the format for writing a diary. Top left hand corner first comes the day and below it comes the date. If you see top right hand corner comes the time. There is no need to leave any line in between. Then straight away after writing the date you can begin with your diary. There is no salutation or subscription at the end while writing a diary. You simply write day, for example, Wednesday. Below the day, date, for example, 29th July 2020. Time, for example, 9 p.m. or a.m. Anything can be written. And then directly after writing day, date, time, you can begin with your diary. Not to forget, 80 to 100 words, one single paragraph and do not forget to use a lot of exclamatory sentences and also take care of the tense and use personal pronouns. Let's write a diary. Write a diary sharing your experience of spending a whole day out with your friends. Do not exceed the word limit of 80 to 100 words.
So let us see how we will write this diary. First, we write the day, then the date and the time. Let's begin our diary. It was a lovely morning today. So here, as you can see, I have begun my diary using an exclamatory sentence. The sky was cloudy and pleasant. Me and my best friend Paul decided to spend the whole day near the river. You can also observe usage of personal pronouns, me, my, and also use of simple past tense, was, decided. Let's read further. We took some cakes, fruits, and tea with us. We set off on our bicycles. How delightful it was to get away from the noisy streets. We selected a grassy spot under a large banyan tree. We placed our baskets and settled there. We chit-chatted and even sang together. The chirping of the birds was music to the ears. We even went boating and took so many photographs. It was such a nice time. We enjoyed ourselves thoroughly and came back home in the evening. I will always cherish the lovely days spent with my best friend. So, I am sure, dear students, now you have got a good idea as to how we write an effective piece of diary. Always remember, practice makes a person perfect. So, the more you will practice, the better you would be at writing a diary. Thank you so much and take care.